Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial which is about MS Word, I will talk about the home menu. In previous part of this uh, series, I have explained about the file menu. Under file menu, there are a lot of options. What are the uses of that options? All things are explained in the previous part of this video. You can watch. I will provide you link in the description. Now in today's video, I will talk about the home menu as you can see when we click on the home menu we have different sections with uh, multiple tools under these sections that are used for creating a professional document to make our document more attractive and professional we need to know the uses of these tools that i will explain in today's video so let me start with the clipboard section Actually clipboard is the location or the area where the copied items are stored. Whatever the content or whatever the items we copy that are stored in the clipboard and later on we can paste. There are some other things that we can do as we have some other tools inside this section. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose I will write here a word computer. Now when I select this word computer you can see all these tools are active now i can cut this scissor shape tool is cut which is used to move the selected item from one location to another for example if i click on the cut which is the shortcut for cut is ctrl x i hope you know that ctrl x or just click on this cut option the text will disappear now we can paste it in other locations like i will paste it in the center now for that we can use this paste option ctrl v is the shortcut or you can just click on this icon so the word is moved from top to bottom so ctrl x is used to cut and ctrl v is used to paste or we can click on this icon to cut and click on this icon to paste now this is for copy i the shortcut for copy is ctrl c and the word computer is already selected now if i click on this option that is copy it will be copied and suppose i want to paste here on the top so you can just again click on this paste option it is pasted now another important tool that is remaining in this section is the format painter it is very useful and a special tool under the clipboard section now let us understand what is the use of this format painter actually format painter is used to apply the formattings to some other area just directly by copying that formatting style to get started just we have to select the content with the formatting you like then after we have to click the format painter and select something else to automatically apply that formatting i'll show you with an example for that let me use some random text now i will format some of the words to make you clear about the use of format painter so i will format this word document here and i will make it a little bit larger uh, 26 and i'll make i'll change the color to red now i have formatted this word document now format painter when i when i select this word document and I will when I will click on this format painter it will allow to copy the formatting and automatically apply to some other text which I will select so I will click the format painter now and if I select any other word it will automatically apply the formatting that is in this word document so let me select another word that is smart art so you can see the formatting that is in the document word has already applied to the another word which I have selected. So I hope you have understood the use of format painter. Now the next section is 
द फोट सेक्शन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द फोट सेक्शन दिस फोन सेक्शन देर आर मल्टीपल टूल्स दैट वी कैन यूज टू फॉर्मेट आवर डॉक्यूमेंट और दैट वी कैन यूज टू क्रिएट अ प्रोफेशनल डॉक्यूमेंट तो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द फोन स्टाइल राइट नाउ इट इज कैलिब्री बॉडी फॉर दैट आई हैव टू राइट सम टेक्स्ट अगेन आई विल चूज रैंडम टेक्स्ट Now, right now it is in the calibri body font shortcut to apply font is control shift f you can see now i want to change the font of this first paragraph so just go to the font section click on this arrow different fonts have arrived here you can choose among the multiple font according to your need according to your requirement so i will change to this i will select another font that is which one is good according to your requirement according to your need you can choose the font i will choose the arial black so you can see the first paragraph the font of the first paragraph has changed so from this section you can change the font of your text the right side of this font section we have the font size this allows us to change the size of the text that is in the document for example the second paragraph i will select and choose or i will increase the font size just by selecting the font number so let's say 20 so you can see it is little bit larger than other fonts to make your text look bigger you can increase the font size according to your requirement now the next tool is the b this is bold the shortcut is control b bold option makes the text bold it means it makes the text a little bit thicker just i will select here three words that is make your document and i will click on b tool it will make that text a little bit more wider more darker so it makes the text bold now next one is the italic that is the shortcut will be control i it will make the text in italic format let's change it to italic that is make your document it is already selected you can see when i click on i option it will make the selected text in the italic format now there is another one that is underline underline option allows us to underline the selected text for example select this professionally word and i will click on u so it has underline the word professionally there are a lot of options for underlining you can choose according to your requirement for example when we click on this arrow you can get a multiple options for underlining your text you can choose the type of underline or you can just do the normal one or double underline or little bit thicker or dotted underline and like this you can change the color of your underline you can choose the color of your underline if you want to underline with red color you can choose it so there is a lot of options now another tool is strike through it is used to cross something by drawing a line through it let's see with an example i will select the word matching and i will just click on a b that is strike through when i click on this it will cut the word that is selected so you can see the matching word has been cut with a line at the center so after that there is sub script so when you want to write something on the base of the text it is used to type very small letters just below the line of the text so when you have to write something on the base you can choose this option 
let's see with an example suppose i will select this word choose and if i want to write something in the base that is the subscript i just go to the x base 2 that is subscript so click here and make something in the base or even smaller and write down in the line then you can choose this script option now next one is the superscript it is used to write in the power for example when i click on this x square that is superscript it allows me to write in the power of the word so cover and i will write here page so page will be written at the top that is in the power place so for this reason we can use these two options to write in the base we can use subscript and to write in the power format you can use superscript another one is increase font size it allows us to increase the font size that we can do from here also by choosing the font size number but it also allows us to increase the font size for example when i select these two three words themes and styles and i will click on this it will automatically increase the font size and it can increase it according to the requirement now the next one is decrease font size when we click on this it will decrease the font size so these two options allows us to increase as well as decrease the font size then after there is another option that is text effects and typography it allows us to choose or format the text according to our requirement in a little bit attractive way for example when i click on this option you can see a lot of uh, styles has appeared here you can choose any of the styles you want for example i will choose this one and you can see the selected text has changed let's see again i'll choose this one and go to this typography option and i will choose another style and you can see it has changed let me increase the size so that it is clear now there are some other options under this uh, you can see there is the outline you can change the outline there is the shadow you can if you want shadow in your text you can choose this option if you want reflections you can choose this option if you want some glow so uh, there is a lot of formattings that you can do under this typography after there is another one change case so change case allows us to change the selected text in either uppercase lowercase or some other uh, capitalizations let's see the examples let me select some of the text and apply this change case option so sentence case is the normal case lowercase will make the text in the lower case format or in the small letter uppercase allows us to capitalize the word you can see reading is easier has capitalized now again if i click on the lower case it will again make it small and when i click on the sentence case it will make a complete correct sentence and capitalize each word so each word is to capitalize the first letter of each word and toggle case is to make the first letter small and remaining in the capital format you can see the r is small i is small e is small and remaining are in the capital format so you can change cases with your text according to your need next is text highlight color so text highlight color allows us to make your text pop up by highlighting it in the bright color so if you want to highlight something you can just select that portion go to this highlighter choose the color whatever you like and you can highlight your text so you can see it's not looking good uh, just select this part 
go to the highlight section and choose something like yeah yellow is looking nice so if you want to highlight some of the part of your document you can choose this highlight section or text highlighting color section next one is the font color you, if you want to change the color of your font you can apply you can use this option so whenever you want to change the color of your font just select that part go to this section choose whatever the color you like so let me make it blue you can see the color of the text has changed now the last tool that is inside the font is clear all formattings so you can see different formattings has been applied to this text now if you want to clear all the formattings just if you want to clear the formattings just select that portion and click on this clear formatting the text will be in the normal format in which it was originally so select all and click on this tool clear all formatting everything will be clear only the highlighting is not cleared but remaining formatting is cleared you can see so if you want to clear the formattings you can just click on this tool Hope you have understood all these tools now in the next part of this video I will talk about the paragraph section and some of the remaining sections like the styles editing and so on so see you in the next video